All right. Um, I want to show you that ddx of linux is actually equal to 1 over x. But before I do so, let me actually discuss the function linux. Okay, so if we look at um, the graph here, this red graph, uh, we observe that this graph is actually the reflection of the graph y equals e to the x about the line y equals uh, x. This is the line y equals x here. See it here? So this here, this graph is the reflection of this graph about this line. And you can actually tell that obviously from, from the symmetry that you observe in this in, in, in here in this picture, but also you could tell that if you were to fold uh, this uh, square or this piece of paper along this line you would actually notice that th this graph lies right on top of this graph. Um, what this tells us is that Linux is actually the inverse function of y equals to e to the x, the exponential function. Now notice the domain of the function Linux is actually all uh, x value greater or equal to zero. In other words, the function Linux is not defined for real values um, that are negative or zero. Okay, so um, so you have to keep that in mind, and uh, because we will be using that when we actually look um, at the indefinite integral of the function one over x. So I wanted to bring this to your attention before I go to the to the problem that I that I want to to to, sh to solve. Okay, so here we are. We want to show that d d x of Linux is equal to 1 over x. So, um, so we know from what I stated uh, just now that uh, we know that hmm, I've got my pencil, oh, here it is, yes. So we know that um, that y is, so we know that if y is equal to Linux Right. If y is equal to Linux, then e to the y, right, is going to be equal to x. Obviously, that follows from the fact that the Linux is the inverse function of, uh, of e to the x, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, this uh, expression here. We're going to take this expression, and we're going to differentiate it implicitly in respect to x. All right. So let's actually get started with that. So we're going to take d dx of e to the y, right, and this is going to be equal to d dx of x. Now, uh, clearly, d dx of x is equal to 1, right? But d dx of e to the y is actually going to be equal to, to e to the y, because the derivative of e to the y is just e to the y, right? d dx of y, okay? And of course, as I said, d, d dx of x is just going to be equal to 1. So now what we have here is that that dy dx is actually equal to 1 over e to the y. Right? So that's perfectly okay. No problem there. Um, and um, but look, look at the relation here says that e to the y is equal to x. So then this implies that dy dx is equal to 1 over x, which is exactly what we wanted to, uh, to show, right? Um, now, um, we would like to find the um, the indefinite integral of the function 1 over x 
dx. Now, the indefinite integral of this function is the most general antiderivative of it. Well, the most general antiderivative of this function is actually lim of x, the absolute value of x, plus c. Now, the reason why we use the absolute value of x is because, as we saw in our graph here, uh, lin x is not defined for negative values of x. It's only defined for x values that are greater or equal to 0. Um, thank you for listening.